what I found was when you're really, really interested in something, when you fall in love with a problem, time sort of just dissipates. So I didn't have a huge challenge with work-life balance. I still pick my kids up every day um, and I still manage to do my study on top. I was really lucky when I came here because I decided that this was what I was going to be doing. I wasn't working. Uh, I was looking for work, but I could focus quite intently on my studies. So in terms of what you might call work, study, life balance, I was pretty firmly in the, in the study area. Some of my colleagues were working and they seemed to manage it pretty well. They devoted themselves uh, pretty strongly or exclusively to that 12 weeks. They got time for that and then they fitted things around that. I live in Wellington. Tech Futures Lab course is based in Auckland, so that 12-week um, immersion phase, I was commuting up to Auckland Monday to Friday. And then from my family side of things, because when I came home for the weekend, I was 100% committed to um, spending that time with, um, you know, with my, with my um, partner Michelle and, and two young boys. So I was it was a great, great scenario for me because that made that, um, that whole um, situation really possible, and it worked really well. Um, and then coming back into the, um, the project phase, the, the nine months, um, again I think I'm really fortunate with how that's worked out too because, because I'm delivering the project for um, Education New Zealand for my place of work, I'm doing that um, you know, as part of, my, part of my work day. So I'm still doing my regular job but I'm also delivering the project um, through work. I'm actually based in Wellington with the programme being based in Auckland but that wasn't an issue. It did require me to spend some time for a few months living in Auckland, which I was happy to do. And then for the research component, the, the most in-depth part of your learning, I was back in Wellington and we actually did that over technology. So every week I met with my advisor through Skype um, and it wasn't a problem uh, working um, in one city where the programme was in another city. It's really intense in the first 12 weeks. Um, it is an immersion phase, um, but it's manageable. And after that, what I found is that you're working on something that you want to be working on. So in my case, it was a new business. For some other people, it's working on an existing business or project. Um, so you want to do the work. So yeah, you work hard, but it's really rewarding. And um, 12 weeks it goes incredibly quickly and then all of a sudden you find yourself at the end of a whole year and graduating it really does go past in a flash. 